We've learned over the last two videos what association rules are and we've now learned the a priori algorithm for uh, mining frequent item sets. In this video, uh, which will be based on the previous two videos, we will learn how to use those frequent item sets to generate association rules. <coughs> so now we have the list of frequent item sets. If you remember from the last video, we returned the, fre the frequent item set from the third iteration and it has these uh, um, item sets 135 and 235. Now what we do for each of them is we create all non-empty subsets as I said for each of them all empty uh, uh, all non-empty subsets what that means is for that item set we have 135 then we can have 1, 3, 5 one three one five and three five all non-empty subsets for this one we have two three five two three two five and three five so for one three five we have these subsets and for two three five we have these subsets now i will only use the first item set these subsets but the same thing should apply um, with no problems at all for the second one now the next step is um, for every empty for I'm sorry for em, for every non-empty subset S of I we output the rule S sort of recommend you know I minus S so for each of these non-empty subsets let's say subset three we output the rule I minus three I E I uh, the rule which is three recommend i minus three so three recommend one and five yes s is three and i is one three five so that will be three recommend or rule says if three is there then also recommend or also the uh, the customer should be shown i minus three one three five minus three ie items one and items five that should be done if we have a condition now if the support count count of i over the support count of s is larger than or equal a minimum value for the confidence we spoke about, about the confidence in the first video so now we're, prob we're properly using it where the minimum confidence is the minimum confidence threshold so we need to have a minimum threshold confidence threshold and then we output that rule if the support count for uh, the item set i over the support count of the subset s is larger than or equal the minimum uh, value of uh, larger than or equal the minimum value for the confidence now in our example let's assume that the minimum confidence threshold is 60 percent let's take an example as i said i will take this item set as an example we'll break it down to its all non-empty subsets and we will plug it in here with the minimum confidence value of 60 percent and see which rules do we get now let's say rule one we take subset i3 so we say uh, uh, subset is i uh, uh, one and three i'm sorry what that means is s is one and three so i minus s will be one three five minus one minus one three that will be five what, the, what this rule says is that uh, if the customer or if we have items one and three then also recommend um, uh, item 5. We compute the confidence. The support count for I now for 135 is 2 because 135 we count it by the way in the transaction database. So 135 appears once, twice, that's 2 over the support count of um, of S now. So I minus of S, yes, I, S now is 1 and 3. Support count of 1 and 3 is 1 to 3 so 2 over 3 is 66.66 therefore R1 is selected for R2 item if items 1 and 5 are there then recommend or choose 3 we compute the confidence for for I 135 153 and 351 are the same thing by the way we remember before we said oh that's not important so we compute the score confidence of that which is 2 the same as before and then support count for 1 and 5 is it appears once twice so 2 over 2 is 100 R2 is selected. Remember this rule says that if we have items 1 and 5 then also let's have item 3 or recommend item 
three you know in recommendation systems for example or in designing a catalog or designing the supermarket layout now for the third rule if we have three and five then also recommend one we comp compute the support count of three five one which is the same as before two and the support count for the s now which is three and five three and five appear once twice three times so it's two over three again sixty six point six six percent it's larger than the minimum uh, uh, confidence threshold so we keep our three we move on now to the remaining uh, non-empty subsets of the item set 135 now we have one three and five as s s here is one and i minus s is three and five so the minimum the confidence now is the score of i which is i35 is two we keep repeating it and then the score of one is one two three 2 over 3 is 66.66 percent larger than the minimum confidence threshold we select r4 that should read r4 this should read r5 and this should read r6 i was just copying and pasting when i was preparing this material now r4 is selected we go to r5 if we have three do we recommend one on five we can compute the confidence the score support count for three one on five is two over the support count of three three appears one two three four times that's two over four that's fifty percent it's less than uh, uh, the minimum threshold value for the confidence so r5 is rejected likewise we now we have for r6 for rule number six five do we recommend one and three we can put the confidence that the confidence of that is the score i'm sorry the support count for that is two support count for five is one two three four yes so it's two over four again 50 percent it's less than the minimum confidence threshold so r6 is rejected as you can see it's nice and easy straightforward to uh, to do even to implement we do the same thing for the remaining item sets here i just gave an example of the first one you should be able to do the same thing for the second one so that's how we generate um, association rules remember that these rules they say you know if the item of the customer for example viewed or bought or selected items one and three then you should we should recommend five or we should display item five or you can interpret it the way you want i hope it makes sense thank you very much again for watching and i'll see you in one of my next videos